Okay, I literally filmed like a six second clip of me driving this thing because I was like literally freaking out. I was so excited I couldn't contain myself. But yeah, the Prelude, she's riding really good. 100% need to raise the rear like a lot. It sucks, but what are you gonna do? I gotta raise it. I thought it was gonna rub really bad like on this, but in reality it's rubbing. You can kind of see on that tab right there. Oh my God, there's rubber on it. I'm gonna quick put this up on jack stands. I'm gonna raise the rear. I may adjust the toe a little bit because Johnny said the toe was, was it is a little toed out. So I'm gonna see if I could get that a little more dialed in. And uh, the front feels really good. She did drive. Feels amazing to be in a cable car again. I always talk shit to my husband because his Honda Fit is drive by wire and it's just that floaty, that rev hang I can't do, I can't do. All right, I raised it another like four turns. I don't wanna go too much higher because I think my main issue is this rubbing. Oh, that's how we get, that's one way of doing it. Boom. I cut this and I'm gonna put, and I got that plug out, so I'm gonna secure these two bumper points with zip ties. These are secured. Got another one hidden up here. It's how I had to run my old bumper because everything was broken as well. It's gonna be way better. It honestly just looks way better that way. Yeah, buddy. Should I take this thing for a test drive again? Let me let me torque these wheels first. So always torque your lug nuts. This sucks. This car is all over the road. Not good. Back to the garage. Definitely need a tow to get the alignment done. <sighs> I hate being in a situation like this. Yep. Once you hit 40 kilometers. Try to drive to my parents house it's like almost two miles from here but it's just unsafe so much to do always with these vehicles between this and the prelude i have more content than i could probably ever afford about to go meet up at the wawa and then we're gonna head to cars and coffee hopefully this car doesn't turn off on me again because it's been acting really weird old car problems it's funny because most people try to go under the speed limit in their fun cars and me i'm just trying to reach the speed limit the bfws are already losing me <laughs> i'm feeling a little shake from my front i don't know if it's axle related or alignment everything related yo they're hitting these high speed turns too i got no sway bars like this is terrifying in my car This is the coolest shit here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, dude. This is my shit. Isn't that cool? How, how sketchy is this? But it's amazing. There's some really cool cars here. Wow. That's it. And Sharon, where you at? BMWs, they left. Oh, we saw that the minute it came, I said, oh, we should have wagon. <laughs> I know, I was holding them up driving here. Which one's yours? Mine is the coupe. I have a CRX, but she's not done yet. No. This thing's sick, though. These are all sick. I just love old Hondas, man. Yeah, I mean, tires are these. Damn. It's getting harder and harder to find these. That's the thing that's fun, man. When people don't know what you have, they're just like, oh, okay, or they're super just like, all right, and then they see it, they're like, oh. 
We were talking about just fucking how how fit it shit is, trying to hide everything and be sneaky. It's just like it's a bitch and a half. Holy crap, dude! Oh yeah, that's how I'm. Fucking Yeah, that's where I work. That's why I see you every day. Clean quarters. Wow, this thing is so sick. Like if I, if I wow, look at this thing is sick, dude. When I got the motor, it, when I got the car, the motor was bad, so I had to swap. Yeah, I was gonna ask. You, I saw the writing on the timing cover. I was gonna yeah, ask if it was This is not the original motor that came with the car. Wow, look how ancient this is. I love it. <laughs> I just love all the metal, like... No huh. computer issues. No computer issues. No check engine, none of that. Wow. Stoking. Really need to get the prelude back because this is my woods machine. Not something I'm trying to show off, but got mad love and stoked to meet some cool people. Saw some really cool cars. I'm glad I came out. Gotta stop being so stubborn. All my rattling back there, but see the garage. So before I get it towed up there and get an alignment, just gonna maybe go for a test drive tonight. Just to see if everything's good. Make sure everything's tight, cause I'm gonna have to drive it home from there. Like that's gonna be a little aggressive. As you can see, I have been just doing some last minute things. I don't know, but started taking, cause they don't make a kit for the Prelude, I've mentioned this many times, but they do sell a la carte so you could get like anything made but i've been putting in all these down star i found this mount this hardware fits i just have to grind this down more because once again this isn't like a, me just making things work so if i just grind down this washer damn that's gonna be so close dude over here i had another one where it's so tight in here i had to grind that off with my dremel but I just took like, literally it was like a millimeter off of this washer. Gotta put them on my throttle body, finish the whole kit for the valve cover. Minus two bolts. I'm gonna have to get these custom made, like just ask for like, I gotta measure how long the stud is for the bolt to replace it. And I'm really happy. I've been like just cleaning things, like cleaning up the engine and just getting off just years of oxidation and rust because it's been sitting for so long. But luckily it's been in a garage. Not a lot of people get that luxury and I'm very thankful for that. Just getting everything ready. Hopefully I can drive this to the big prelude meet, which is happening October 9th. I'm gonna put more, I'm gonna put a link in the description to the event. It's on Facebook if you guys wanna go check it out. But it's gonna be a car show. We're gonna have a barbecue. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Tuesday. This actually, I got noticed today that this is gonna get put on hold. Well, the plan was to send my black valve cover out to Shea Spec and have him weld the fittings and delete the PCV system and like, just like, you know, just do his special touch to my valve cover, but he's really busy. So that's gonna have to be put on hold because honestly, I don't trust anyone else working on my car. He did my husband's wedding ring and a few other parts I have on my car that just one off beautiful things. Um, I'm leaking trans fluid. <laughs> Sad face, noticed that at Cars and Coffee. I was like, oh man, that's interesting. At first I thought it was power steering fluid, but I was like, it's more than like, and I, there's so many drips here. You can never tell when something really serious is happening. But you see right here, it's like, oh my God, dude, there's so much oil under here, it's so bad. But it's leaking oil. <laughs> this car is so oily. Like, it's really bad. None of my cars leak like this. You can see by all these metal shavings, I had to make this a little wider so I have more room to adjust it because they weren't lining up. I don't know if the Euro R is different, but, or it's just the manufacturers 
situation. Now I have more room, like literally just a tad bit so I can move that. I cleaned off the edges with the Dremel so I don't slice my finger open. So yeah, ruin that a little bit, but no one will see it. So I'm not too concerned. All right, now this should fit now. A rare and unbelievable success. <laughs> I just needed that little bit. Look how nice it's gonna look. I'm gonna go tighten these up and then I gotta figure out, I gotta measure a bolt for this and then maybe go to Home Depot. Whew, it's never ending with this car. It's what happens when you start modifying things to a weird extreme. So got everything mounted up. I need to get two nuts to go on the end of this. So one here and one down there. I just got like a really crappy old one, but fortunately the auto parts store doesn't have the size I need and neither does Home Depot. So I'm calling it for this one. Um, guess I'll see you guys next week. We're gonna get an alignment. We're gonna get other stuff done. So stay tuned.